Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Michael, aka Sacrius, and it's time for another Let's Play session. <laughs> um, should have a bit to talk about. Uh, I keep my, uh, my priorities straight, my thoughts and stuff on the on on topic and whatnot, um, which I'm already not doing very well just by starting this. This commentary, but that's fine. Uh, I think everything will go by smoothly. Um, it is December 25th, which for all of you uh, Christian or whatever, uh, you know, whatever you guys are that is close to Christian, being Catholic or any of those good old things, um, you know that it is Christmas. And being Christmas, I got my gifts and whatnot, and gave some gifts, and that is going to be some of what I talk about today in this commentary. Um, hopefully I don't pause too many times, even though we all know that that's bound to happen. Um, I'm going to get a quick bite to eat right here. Nom nom nom. Funny because that was pork and I had ham for dinner tonight. This ham is amazing and uh, it's just what we have during holidays around this house. For the most part, we usually have either we usually have ham and turkey. Um, and those are our holiday dinners. Um, so yeah, Christmas went well. Um, I don't remember. I think the last time I talked to you guys was. Um, it wasn't Christmas Eve, I don't think. I think it was... No, I don't think I did a video yesterday. I think I did a video two days ago. Let me just think about that. It might have been early yesterday. Um, I don't... No, I think it was Friday. Who knows, whatever. Um, so I will go over what was the happy haps between yesterday and today. Um... I'll probably need to pause this video in a bit because I suddenly really had the urge to go to the bathroom. <laughs> um, I just punched a bag that's in my room on accident while I was moving my arms. Because um, I am silly, I guess. Crap, that's not what I wanted. Um, there we go. So, yesterday was Christmas Eve, and my dad ended up waking me up at 10, he called me, um, and that was a good thing, because he reminded me that I needed to go get a gift for my grandma, um, because I, you know, I forgot to do that, and so I needed to go out, and I was freaking out, because I don't know what to get her, being one of the, um, my top people in my life. Uh, I needed to get her something heart filled, um, kind of cheap for my wallet. Because um, though I did get nice tips this weekend, and I have probably gonna have a really good paycheck next week, uh, I still want. Excuse me. I still wanted to not spend too much if I was able to. Um, so what I did was I called Jordan, my buddy, and I asked what he was doing in case he wanted to go to the mall with me, um, but he was busy, so he wasn't able to do as such. Um, I really need to go back, so I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Um... It seemed like I was gone for 
literally a millisecond, but I actually paused it and I went to the bathroom. Um, so yeah, we're working. Oh yeah, I asked Jordan what I if he wanted to go with me, and he said he couldn't. Then I asked him what I should get her, and he had no idea, so he was big help there. <sighs> but then he uh, suggested that I go and take my sister to the mall because um, she might have an idea of what I can get for my grandma. And I thought, hey, that's a uh, actually a pretty good idea. Um, so that's what I did. I went to my sister's room. And I was like, hey, do you want to go to the mall? Because I haven't gotten grandma a gift. And um, she was like, yeah, sure. You know, being a good sister that she is, she wanted to uh, help me out. And um, so she, we both got ready. She took a shower. I took a shower, all that good stuff. And then after that, uh, we hopped in my car and we went to the mall. That's near my house. It's not very good of a mall, but um, it's we've seen stores that she likes to buy at um, in that mall. So we went over there and we went to like a world market kind of store. <coughs> um, and that there wasn't really any anything good in there. Um, and then my sister had a great idea because there's a little kiosk that has silver stuff and um, and they engrave it for you. And we've gotten her a gift there before. We got her a, a pen that had something engraved on. I don't remember what it was. I think it was like two Christmases ago, or maybe it was two birthdays ago for her. Um, but that doesn't matter. Um, so we ended up going, and there was this, uh, I don't know, this silver box. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It was a silver box that my sister found, and I was like, yeah, that's a good gift. So I considered it, and then I looked, I kept walking around the kiosk, and I found this um, $15 uh, ornament for a Christmas tree and it was a heart and then on the heart there was like another what well, seemed to be a separate order but it was attached to it and it was kind of like it was a star and it was kind of like a flap and you lift it up and then, and then that's where you write the engraved thing so it was like a big heart and then on the on the big heart there was a little star and you lift the star up and the words are on the big heart um, as I kind of already just said um, so I, so after a little bit of thinking about it, I decided that's what I wanted to get her, because every year she talks about how, or every year she puts up her Christmas tree and she talks about every gift that she got, or for, about every ornament that she had, and, um, you know, I thought that it kind of fit with the person that she is. Um... So I picked it out, and then the lady's like, alright, here, write what you want engraved on it. So I wrote, to a loving grandma, I hope your Christmas is happy, or you know, whatever, something like that. I hope your Christmas is awesome. Um, something kind of cliche, whatever, and then in, in the end it said, love Michael. And... And on the back says 2011 because she never knows what year anything was made for her or given to her from like ornaments and stuff. So I thought it would be a good idea to um, give her uh, give her the gift that had the the date of the year <coughs> on it. Um, so after I wrote all that out, and the lady counted how many uh, words it was, and the ornament itself cost fifteen dollars, the engraving costed forty-five dollars. So in all, it was about sixty dollars, sixty-five dollars. Um, I don't think that's right. Whatever. Um, and uh, so yeah, so I was like, wow, I went from. Fifteen dollars to 
uh, $65. And uh, I kind of thought something like that would happen. But, you know, being my grandma, she, she's she gotten me so much. My, she's gotten me the computer that I'm actually recording this on. Um, so without her, I wouldn't even be able to be here talking to you guys. So I figured, you know, 60 bucks, I could do 60 so I went ahead and I purchased it and just we walked around for an hour while the engraving was being done. Went to the, the animal store, saw the puppies. There was a lot of huskies. They were all cute. I wanted to take every one of them home. Um, we just kind of walked around, went to the food court, ate at uh, Sabaro, got some pizza. It was tasty. Picked up the gift and then uh, went home. And then later that night, we went to my grandma's house, where she cooked. Uh, I think it was almost oh, it was prime rib uh, steak and potatoes and all this good, delicious stuff. And the dinner was amazing. And then we opened gifts. Um, I got. Um, Wow. Totally can't think right now. Okay, I got three shirts. Um, three Fliction shirts. Well, Fliction is an expensive brand of shirt that I just so happen.